Welcome to the news on the hours brought to you on the Anglican Cable Network Nigeria, ACN and Television. I am Rachel Ibunu. The chairman, GAFCON Primate Council, and the primate of all Nigerian Anglican Communion, His Grace, the Most Reverend Nicholas Oko, has expressed lots of gratitude and eulogy to the Almighty God for all the success achieved throughout the years of his service as the GAFCON chairman. He made this known in an emotional letter written to the GAFCON movement for the month of April, in the letter which happens to be his last letter as the chairman. Primate Oko reckoned that the movement has gone far because of the help of God. He asked members to remember and not forget how God has blessed the GAFCON movement far beyond what is deserved and far beyond what efforts could have achieved. According to Archbishop Oko, GAFCON has grown into much more than a conference. It is a growing presence now established in 22 provinces, and its primate council represents the majority of the world's practicing Anglicans. He concluded the letter by praising the incoming chairman of GAFCON, Primate Foley Beach, saying he is a man who has been tested and paid the price of standing firm, a wise leader who loves the Lord Jesus Christ and has the heart of an evangelist. Jesus has been described as the light of the world, whose presence dispasses light where there is darkness. He is also said to be self-existing, sufficient in himself. He is almighty in his ways, and he was not created, but he created everything in the universe. This was the assertion of the Bishop of the Diocese of Eche, the Right Reverend Okechuku Mwala, during an interview with newsmen in River State, as he states that Jesus is the Word, the life, and the light. Anytime the Lord introduces himself as I am, uh, miracles follow, something follows. The first time God used the word I am was in the encounter of Moses uh, when the Lord was sending him to Egypt to set the people free. The word I am uh, signifies the self-existence of God, the almightiness of God, the God that was not created by created offense, the, the God that is sufficient in himself. And um, in the beginning, the Bible says God spoke and uh, the earth came to be without form and void. Darkness was on the face of the earth and God spoke, let there be light and there was light. That word that came forth and the earth came in form was the same word John introduced in chapter 1 verse 1. He said, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He said, this, um, uh, in him was life, and this life is the light of man. So there is a relationship between the word, life, and light. So Jesus is the word, Jesus is life, Jesus is light. Speaking on the theme of the first session of the fourth synod of the diocese, Light of the World, Right Reverend Mwala admonished Christians to endeavor to present Christ wherever they are found. Religion came as a, a result of man seeking God. But Christianity is God coming to, to seek man. Christianity is the, is the restoration of the original man, life, God gave to man in Eden. So Christianity is not religion. Christianity is life itself. God is restoring to man the original life man lost in Eden. And what God gave man, man originally is not religion. So Christianity is different from, from any other, other religion. And Christianity is the only uh, uh, stain that can bring light to the world. So Christians in every sector of the world are called upon to, bring, to shed light. Christians should not be involved in, in, in electoral uh, practice. Christians should show the light. Those who are teachers in secondary schools, universities, should stand out and show the light. The privilege to work in government, to work in companies, to work in educational institutions, is an opportunity to show the light. So this is not cause on Christians in every sector of the world to be agents of the manifestation of the love of Christ. As majority of the Nigerians clamor for good governance, Christians have been called to draw nearer to the political system and effect the needed changes in the polity. This, as believed, will help bring about fairness, equity, credibility and others 
in the political front of Nigeria. This call was made by the Director of Civic and Political Affairs for the Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion, the Venerable Joseph Unwaya, while discussing Christians' active participation in politics on a CNN TV program, Christians in Politics. Even people at a very higher level in the church hierarchy, there are still some who have not been able to come to terms with the fact that uh, the church mm. need to be interested and be actively involved in politics. Some of them take the, their spirituality to the extreme. We are living among people, uh, unbelievers, people of different religions, people who are not necessarily all Christians. So if we are living together in the world, and everything is intermingled together. We cannot separate ourselves from a system that is meant to govern and determine how things will go mm -hmm. in the society because that is what politics is all about. Mm -hmm. Politics talk about who is in charge, who shares the common common way of the of the of, of the, the society of the people and how is it shared equitably to the advantage of majority. That is what politics is really all about. Many people in the church have distanced themselves over the years. If politics is a dirty game, we need Christians as detergents to clean it up. This was also agreed by Princess Nana Ngozi Dahiru, a politician and a guest in the program. She pointed out that politics is everywhere and in every institution, including church, offices and others. She advised all Christians to see themselves as politicians. Okay. No. Because the church is not the building. Okay. It's me and you that are in the church. And we're part of the society. We live with pagans. We live with Muslims. We live with every type of human being. Mm. By nature, every human being is a politician. Mm. Even in the church, there is politics. In your home, there is politics. In your office, there is politics. Mm. Anywhere you turn, left and right, politics surrounds you. But we are talking about politics as it has to do with the nation. Mm. There is no difference. The relationship is supposed to be cordial. The wife of the Bishop of Ibadan Diocese, Mrs. Comfort Akifenwa, has called on women especially Christian women, to constantly follow the examples of the virtuous woman and to endeavor to live a godly life. According to the wife of the cleric, it is the role of a mother to bring up her children in the ways of God and to also ensure that such children are morally and spiritually sound. Remind them of their major role in the upbringing of their children spiritually and morally, and to remind mothers to constantly follow the examples of the virtuous woman, as seen in Proverbs 31 verse 10 to the end. As part of their role, it is also for them to learn to, to be godly and to live a godly life in the home so as to transform the society, the church, and bring up children that can be renewed spiritually. Mrs. Akifenwa also urged the women to build their homes on the solid rock which is Christ, and to endeavor to be a shining light to the family members, the society, to the nation, and to the body of Christ. As women, we must not rest on our oars, but to contribute and continue to strive to be a shining light to members of our families, the society, and the body of Christ as a whole. 
News on the hour. I'll be right back after these messages. ACNN TV is one of the vibrant tools for the growth of the church. Shake off your lukewarm attitude by joining the vanguard for aggressive evangelism. Go and get your decoder so you can keep watching ACNN and start appreciating more. The Anglican mode of worship is free to air viewing and available for as low as 15,000 Naira at any satellite shop close to you. God bless you as you watch ACNN. In Jesus' name. Invest in spreading the word of God this year, 2019, as you join the 3,000 ACNN Kingdom Investment Partners with a token as low as 2,000 per month or 30,000 per annum. Register at www www.akip.acnntv.com For details, call 234-823-232-1280 or 234-703-265654 Watch ACNN TV on the internet enabled device by visiting www.acnntv.com slash tv God bless you as you watch ACNN in Jesus name Welcome back Thanks for staying tuned For more on our top stories please visit our website at acnntv.com or youtube.com forward slash acnntv to be up to date with our news and other programs Download the ACNN app for Android from your Google Play Store. And now to national news. President Muhammad Buhari has ordered the security agencies in the country to ensure that all bandits are immediately dealt with. He gave the directives when he met with service chiefs at the presidential villa in Abuja. Addressing State House correspondent at the end of the closed door meeting, the Chief of Defense Staff, General Gabriel Oloni Sakin, disclosed that the President issued marching orders to the military to ruthlessly address the security challenges in the country. He explained that the meeting revealed strategies employed so far in confronting the issue of banditry and kidnapping in Zamfara and other states. The defense chief informed reporters that the security agencies now have a new revised strategy to handle the challenges. The meeting also had in attendance the chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Tuku Buratai, chief of air staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Abubakar, and chief of naval staff, Ibok Ekwe Ibas. Government officials in attendance were the Chief of Staff to the President, Abba Kiari, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, and the Minister of Defense, Mansur Dang Ali, among others. River State Governor Yesom Wike has urged the Minister of Transportation, Roti Miyamichi, and the All Progressive Congress to join him in building the state. He made the appeal after the Supreme Court struck out the appeals of the APC or the just concluded elections in Rivers. The APC asked the APS court to reverse itself on the exclusion of the party from the governorship and House of Assembly elections in the state. But a seven-man panel of judges led by the acting chief, Justice of Nigeria, Justice Ibrahim Mohammed struck out the appeals for being incompetent. Reacting to the judgment in a broadcast, Governor Wike said all legal issues regarding the fielding of candidates by the APC for the elections in Rivers have finally and permanently been put to rest. He noted that with the judgment of the APS court, the victory of the People's Democratic Party and its candidates in the polls was legally safe, secured and protected. 
the governor praised the opposition for their courage to fight within the confines of the law to the end. He reminded them that the task of building the state must take precedence over all other considerations now that the legal battle was over. He therefore appealed to Amechi and the APC to join hands with his government to move the state forward, adding that being divided will not mean well for the people. The governor further urged the people of Rivers to shun all acts of violence and promise to ensure the unity and peaceful coexistence of all residents, irrespective of their political and religious differences. That's how it has been on the news on the hour. Thanks for watching and God bless. I am Rachel Ibunu.